Maharashtra BJP leader Subramaniam Swami, he criticized the government's implementation but also asserted that the Prime Minister should not be blamed. Swami also urged the government not just to cut but abolish income tax rates in the upcoming budget. He also wants the centre to do away with the 200% penalty on those declaring unaccounted wealth. I want to talk to you about the short-term risks as far as the economy is concerned, especially for small businesses. I now bring to you what Neelkant Mishra of CSFP says, the risk for small business like, businesses like producers of perishables, milk, vegetables, even a short-term disruption may push them back by several months, if not a year. Disruptions in harvesting of the kharif crop and sowing of the rabi crop could also be hurt. And there's plenty more. So in terms of the short-term implications, we don't know whether this will last one quarter, two quarters, or perhaps even a year. In the short term, what can be done to mitigate the disorderly risks? Well, the, in the short run, first of all, let me tell you as far as this agriculture thing you are saying, its impact will be only on one crop season. And it's like a drought, the effect of a drought. Uh, I would say today to revive and create confidence in the industry and in the middle class, you should abolish income tax. Does your uh, suggestion, sir, to abolish income tax have the support of the prime minister or the finance minister? Well, I don't know. You asked my view, <laughs> and I, I can't speak on their behalf. One of the key announcements that came in from the government was this business of a 200% penalty, Mr. Bhattacharya. Now, you have very categorically stated that that is legally not tenable. In fact, you say this demonetization scheme is nothing but the cheapest amnesty scheme so far. This statement which the government of India made, mm. uh, that, that was an incorrect statement, and it has sent jitters through the spines of the common, hapless, poor depositor. Mm. It is scaring them away. Mm. I think the intention of the government and the prime minister is to bring, to bring back the liquid cash, yeah. which is outside the system, yeah. into the banking system, so as to bolster banks' lending capacity. Sure. So therefore, I think the whole objective will be frustrated. And hmm. if it is still announced, if it is still announced... That means they will have to amend the Income Tax Act. But now you have to make a retrospective amendment. Hmm. You made such a uh, hue and cry about, about not retro Vodafone's yes, retrospective, about no amendment. retrospective amendment. Now you will hit the common man by a retrospective amendment and you are letting off Vodafone. Let me bring in a quick word from uh, Subramaniam Swami as well. Uh, Mr. Swami, I'm going to ask you to put on your legal hat, sir. We've got Mr. Bishwadit Bhattacharya here saying that the penalty is possible under the Income Tax Act of 1961 and hence he believes that this demonetization scheme is nothing but the cheapest amnesty scheme and the government must act to clarify. Under the existing law? Under the existing law. No, no. Yeah, I agree. I agree with him and I think this is not a well thought out uh, thing in that respect and I certainly think all this business of uh, paying, uh, uh, if you give the surrender the money, you'll have to pay so many income tax uh, or, or punitive tax and so on. These are all the ones that have scared the people even more. So you, you the, agree, Mr. You, Swami, should, that this 200% penalty should not have been imposed or should not have been proposed? Absolutely. Absolutely. I, if you want to rec rectify a system, you can't do it by another penalty, which you can again be subject to what the income tax officers, uh, their terrorism of the income tax officers. So that's BJP MP Subramaniam Swami uh, going as far as to say that the 200% penalty that has been imposed is wrong, that it's legally not tenable. Also going on to say that there has been an execution failure. The idea is good, but there has been an execution failure. But on